Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to the Islands of Insight demo. Uh, I guess a little bit right before the game's release. It's coming out on the 13th, but the demo is going to be available from February 5th through the 12th. Uh, so I guess if this looks interesting to you, and you do want to pick it up, you're not going to have to wait long before the game actually launches. But at least during the next fest, you can pick it up for free and try it out yourselves. Try your new form. I'm green. Not that you're going to be able to see. Follow the wandering echo. But I am... That's me. This is really pretty. Holy smokes. Uh, let's see. So anyway, to explain what this is, we've got, a, I guess, a couple of things to go through. So Islands of Insight is a... It's a multiplayer open world puzzle game. And it's really gorgeous looking. And according to the... Uh, I, I guess the document I've got on the side, they've got 10,000 plus puzzles in here uh, that are all handcrafted, which is kind of nice. I, it's, boy, 10,000 puzzles just in general feels kind of wild to me. Okay, left click a gray tile to toggle it to dark. Okay, so I'm assuming we're just linking that. Cool. So right click a gray tile, toggle it to light, link these. Oh, I see. So we're just supposed to make it match and then figure out how to make it match within this. Oh, wait, click and drag to paint tiles more quickly. <laughs> I think I've broken it already. Uh, oh. It just wants me to fill that in. Oh, it just says connect all dark cells, connect all light cells. So, that, that, easy peasy. Cool. So anyway, uh, I should probably mention before we go too much further, that this is made by Lunark Studios and published by Behavior Interactive are kind enough to actually reach out and sponsor this video from me. Uh, let's see. I'm going to be playing it solo for today. I, the original plan was I was maybe going to uh, get to it with Shell, but timing was not on my side on that one. But I might come back and play some more of this on my own with her. She is a big puzzle head, and I enjoy them. I enjoy puzzle games. Oh, boy. Okay. It's just connect all dark, all light. There we go. Easy peasy. I have to remember that the designs as part of the connect all light or dark, that's not actually what I'm supposed to be copying. I'm just supposed to be, oh, logic grid mastery. Did I get a talent point? Did I, well, there's me. Please explore, but should you need help, you'll find it at the blue guide stones. I wonder if there's a way that I can go do a third, a third person camera just so I can see my weird Kind of cyan purpley man. Upgrades. T Talent tree? What? Double oh double jump. Oh, so that's what it is. It's more mobility than puzzle solving. I was like, okay, don't make this pattern, don't make this pattern. Oh, I see. So it doesn't want any squares. Oh, that's okay, that's clever. Uh, okay, follow, fill the entire grid while following these rules. So, we can't have a single, why is this immediately stumping me? <laughs> uh, it's because it, it's, it's like, uh, saying, don't think about bananas. Oh, of course, there we go. Immediately get stuck and can't think of anything better but that exact methodology. Okay, this is really neat. I like the idea of playing this multiplayer. Hold, release to form a link. Link that. Matchbox mastery. What am I doing? I don't know. I'm on a journey, apparently. Okay, don't make squares. Okay. These have to be... Light. This has to, this has to be dark. This can, yeah, we're good. Interesting. Okay, so I've got, this cube links up to something. But I don't quite know where. I've, I'm pretty sure I've completed this one. Yeah, well, oh, hi. Hidden Arcway Mastery. <laughs> I love the idea of just like walking around and solving puzzles by accident. I found a hidden relic. Cool. Oh, wait. Find it within the boundary. Oh. Well, there's one. That's a puzzle. We'll get to that in a second. There's two. Okay. What did I... 
Oh, you know what? Um, I'm thinking of... Shoot. I think it was when, like, No Man's Sky had launched. You couldn't do anything without, like, triggering some kind of achievement and, like, Whoa, you've done this thing! And I'm immediately getting that where you just, like, walk ten feet and stumble upon a puzzle. Like, this universe almost feels weirdly... I don't want to say lethal, because it's not, but... If you were somehow allergic to puzzles, this would... This would be a very bad place to be. I know I'm being completely ridiculous with this, but still. How am I doing this one? Because we got to connect all of the light cells together. There's no way to do that but that. Oh, no, here it is. Easy peasy. Nice outward thing. But I, I am straight up going to walk into a room and solve two puzzles by accident, and it's going to be glorious, maybe. Okay, so what am I even missing? Because that's the other thing. Oh, right, I can double jump. Is there a secret puzzle atop this thing? Yeah. <laughs> there is, in fact, a secret puzzle on top of this thing. Why wouldn't there be? This is the Island of Insight. I, I'm trying to figure out how to wrap that into... Where I'm go oh, I see it. May maybe. Because there's a red cube up there. Go up this one. Okay, so what I need to do is position myself... Wrong target. Oh. Okay, so those are linked. <gasps> Another hidden cube. Alright, so I have... A multitude of these cubes in this area. I found this one, I'm like, oh, I bet it's like matched pairs somewhere in kind of like a, uh, and something's happened to me. Campaign quest, moments of discovery complete. But yeah, I was just gonna, coming up here to solve like one cube quest and then it got even more. Uh, well done, you've gathered a Mirabilis. Uh, each Mirabilis you collect will open more islands for you to explore. All right. Let's see, the Mirabilis is your main form of progression in the campaign. Many different quests, objectives, and activities will reward you with Mirabilis. As your Mirabilis collection increases, you'll awaken new lands and gain access to secret enclaves. Okay. But yeah, I came up here with the expre express purpose of, you know, solving one basic puzzle-ish. Wait, have I? Yeah, I've already activated that one. We're looking for whatever this... this um, I did not know I could right-click to zoom in really hard, but hey, there we are. Uh, I did not realize that I'd stumble upon like seven more different cube puzzles to link together and whatnot. The only immediate problem is I'm not actually sure uh, sure where that cube's linked. Because it can't be too far away. It has to be within line of sight. Though I think they don't have to be in line of sight from each other. You just have to be able to position yourself in a place where you can see both of them simultaneously. Well, might as well go through another hidden arcway. What are these rings? A puzzle? Look through gold, all of the golden rings, but no... Oh, all of the golden rings, but none of the dark ones. Like that? There we go. Armillary rings. So, a lot of puzzles seem to be based kind of on the same f general framework but with different executions every single time so this one doesn't like it for some reason okay i think i just wasn't in the right spot so what else do we have oh well, we've got more of these cube boxes okay so left is dark right is right is light okay that makes perfect sense actually so, connect all the dark cells. Do not make a square. Hmm. That actually isn't a problem. There we go. You can just go around. I can only imagine these are going to get way more brain-busting later on. Can I get up here? Yeah. Any more secret cubes hiding up above? 
There's a very real possibility the answer is actually no sometimes, but do you know what this game is? I know what it is. It's the waterfall. It's the treasure behind the waterfall, but at every moment. I'm going to see like a rocky outcrop, a ledge, uh, a random statue, and I'm going to be like, there's a puzzle hidden there. And I'm going to get way too distracted trying to figure out how to solve it. When there's no puzzle at all, and I'm, in fact, just losing my mind. Is there a puzzle in this pond? Actually, no. I cannot swim. I am allergic to water. I'm a hydrophobic being. So what else do we got here? I'm just going to keep checking everything. This is different. Okay, so it's lighting up. Oh, am I supposed to position myself in such a way that every single one of these pillars can see me? No. Because it seems to change. Okay, I think I'm going to have to go check one of these. Okay, matchbox. No. Armillary rings. Figure that one out. Sentinel stones. Stand in a position on the platform such that you have unbroken connection at all of the sentinel pillars. Look at the pillars to activate them all. Oh, look at them. Okay, if you move out of sight, the connection will be lost. Hidden pentad we know about and sky drop. What is sky drop? Sky drop? Secret that you discover on your own. I'll only tell you that you must find a circle among the spheres. Sk what? Where are these things? Is that one over there? It may be. And I already sol solved this one. Okay. I gotta figure out if there's a specific tell on those. For whether or not it's been solved before. Okay, whatever these sky spheres are... There we go. Oh. So are these the different puzzle types? Actually, there's a lot. Dang. Okay, hidden cubes, spellstone, hidden arcways. I feel like the hidden arcways are going to be easy at first and then just, like, weirdly devilish to find. I say as I find one. Uh, you know what? I should probably do. Let's take a look at upgrades. I've gotten a couple more points. What do we want? So extra mastery points for those. Charge jump to get higher or grid flood paint. Huh. And then there's different levels. What else do we have? Oh. Rewards you if you solve a logic grid without ever coloring a tile incorrectly. Maximum gliding speed. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can get higher because this feels like it's going to have something in it all right what else do we have don't make this pattern so do not make the square connect all dark cells oops wrong one not that it matters too much but i might want to specifically try practicing so i can Okay, I've leveled up at Logic Grids. Uh, the RPG elements in a puzzle game is throwing me off. Mainly because I don't think I've ever seen that before. And I'm so curious about where they're going with this. There's a cube. I feel like this is going to be one of those where... Oh, you know what? Uh, I have no idea how people would... Re oh, there's the, there's the spheres. The circle among the spheres. This is what they were talking about. I could see a, a game like this specifically. There we go. So that's how that works. We've earned a Mirabilis. Cool. I can do a thing with that, maybe. And there's another thing over here. Haven't figured out how to glide yet, but that's fine. So don't make this pattern. Don't make this pattern. Don't make this pattern. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. Reflections and rotations are for of forbidden patterns are also forbidden. Oh, I see. So I cannot make squares. I can also not ever connect. The white tiles. 
for any reason. I guess it's reasonably doable. I just have to kind of checkerboard it really hard. And we're good. Most enclaves have more puzzles than necessary to earn every Mirabilis. You don't need to find and solve them all. It is very difficult. Right, we should check the map, see if there's actually a, a list or something. Because we still have that one cube there. And a gate. Oh, did work. There we go. This game is going to be so devilish. Okay, first echo is not awakened. Oh, I was really hoping there was a... Um, there's going to be some way that I could actually check my completion percentage on an island, but I can see that ruining that. Uh, that was actually going to be one thing I was going to say. This feels like the kind of game that you actively need to never look at a wiki for. Luckily, the developers actually thought of this beforehand. I was informed uh, after recording this video that they are in fact planning on cycling the puzzles uh, fairly often. So even if there is a wiki made for this game, it's not really going to matter too much because the puzzles are going to change uh, fairly often. And you can kind of see, like, a lot of these are just located in various spots and will actually swap out on a daily basis. It's a fairly modular game, and the only thing that's going to stay static are the, like, actual puzzle dungeons. So yeah, I, I don't think you can spoil anything. In fact, uh, there's a decent possibility that playing the demo, you might not even have the same puzzles as I did. And that's kind of cool, actually. Easy enough. I could very much see this being a lot of fun with another player. I'm curious about how the multiplayer works. Like, can you actually see somebody else solving a puzzle simultaneously as you? Because I could see that being kind of fun, but it would be, a ooh, your new thing. Oh no, it's a, a booster. Well, first, if I'm going to be talking about puzzles and waterfalls, I got to check this waterfall and see if there's a puzzle underneath it. Doesn't look like it, no. I do appreciate that there was the secret little waterfall puzzle zone, though. Yeah, still don't know how to... Uh, still don't know how to glide, but it says bonus complete 22 puzzles. We might have actually gotten all of them. Okay, touch the Great Pearl to begin the rest of your journey. What of... what of this for you? Oh, view gate requirements. Okay, so I can't use that yet. Is this much of anything? Almost seems like it connects over there. I'm just paranoid. We already know that they like to hide secrets and, and sneaky bits everywhere, but touch the pearl. The puzzles are nicely intuitive though. I'm digging that. Uh, let's see, map unlocked. Oh, so does that mean we just have access to the maps in general? Okay, cool. So we can see moments of discovery. So we've solved all but two puzzles. And then there's some more over there. And then possibly another player. Oh, cool. So you can actually check. First echoes. Got those. I'm assuming I get to come back at some point, maybe. The main problem is I don't know how to actually traverse the islands particularly well. That might be something we come back to. And I'm not going to think about it too hard. At least, not for now. Campaign quest, space between the stars complete. I'll have to see if I can actually come back to these, because I'd certainly like to. But what about you? Moments of discovery. Okay, so we've done that. Oh, I see. So this pearl just tells me about that zone, what I have to do going back to it. What is this? This realm nearly met its end. I'm not strong enough to save it a second time. Your kind are now the keepers of its fate. Solve the puzzles. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Okay. So what do we do? Do I forge ahead, find new things? Can I solve you? No, you are you are the dialogue. You are plots. You cannot be solved. Or maybe you can. Let's see. I'm going to have to look for cubes. There's something up there. Hidden block puzzle or something of the sort. Ooh. Empyrean journey in Verdant Glen to awaken this puzzle. Uh, 
does seem like it might be a little bit on the complicated side. A number of these actually seem like they might be on the complicated side. Okay, so while I'm up here, before I go anywhere else, we should probably take a look around and see if we can find any of those colorful cubes. Okay, there's a spidery looking one. Oh, well, I found a uh, hidden gate. There are going to be so many of these everywhere. There's a hidden block. At least it's like reasonably easy to spot them. Even same deal with the hidden gates to some degree. There we go. Oh. Where were you? Were you just here this entire time and I was just blind? Uh, there? There we go. Yeah, I can only assume they're going to get more tangled and more messy and way more complex as we go along. I'm also noticing a perspective puzzle here. There we are. Light motif. And then find the hidden relics in this zone. There's also the orb, but we're going to ignore the orb. I am sorry, orb. I will ponder you later. I'm kind of sad that memes dropped off really hard. Oh, I was comparing this something to something, and I don't know if I finished my thought. Unfortunately, I'm a little bit of a scatterbrained person. Uh, I, I don't know. I guess I'd almost call it like kind of magpie syndrome where I see a shiny and I get distracted by it. I found you, but yeah, I had to get closer. Uh, put too many shinies in the area and then I get really distracted. Well, do I follow this thing and see where it takes me? Sure. Wanderer's quest. Oh, wandering echo mastery. Another type of puzzle. It's like they knew my name making this game. They made it for me. They made it for my wife, let's be honest here. She absolutely adores puzzle games and I'm sure she'd go bananas for this and all the lore. Huh. This feels right. Oh, there we go. Monolith fragment. I don't know if that's something I'm supposed to interact with. We also have this green cube here, and I should probably figure out where it connects before I go too far. I say that, but then I immediately find a hidden block that I'm supposed to hit too. And then whatever those are, and orbs and things, and holy smokes, this is a lot. It's a lot to take in. It's the ultimate scavenger hunt? Yeah, the problem is I was I was going to compare this to something else and now it's flown my brain in the worst possible way. I don't think I'm getting that back. Legends say 10 years later I'm still thinking about it. Trying to... Cripes. And this is why I can't focus on anything. <laughs> okay. So we know the double triangle is there. I guess I should just keep wandering around until I can find stuff. It'll show its face eventually though. I might have to come back and... Let's see, I might have to just come back and mess around with it. Uh, there we go. Ah, here we are. That's actually very forgiving. In terms of placement and whatnot. So what are you? Aurorals were... Imbued with a purpose to seek knowledge and record splendor in the known, but the age of aurorals has passed. My hope is that your kind will become seekers in our place. And by seekers, you mean uh, obsessive puzzle hounds. Okay, it's got to be something like that. What am I missing? Oh. There we go. Honestly, though... I've kind of been on a big puzzle kick lately. What are you? Okay, so we can't do that one yet. They might have sort of tutorial -y zones that we get access to later. Uh, let's see. 
So I might have to find some of these things. Now, do the hidden arcways stick around? It looks like they do. At least to some degree. Yeah, so I, I could very much see the spirit of cooperation being actually pretty good in this one. Where chances are it's going to be one of those games where you bring a friend along. Uh, I might be in trouble. No, I'm in trouble. Oh, I'm in trouble. Okay, good. <laughs> I don't know how to... Can you, like, fast travel? No, I don't think you can. I might want to, like, wander around and see if I can find the Great Pearl or something. My big fear is getting stuck along an edge and not being able to do much about it. Huh. Er? Ah, here we are. Are we? Oh, yeah, here we go. So there's that one. Okay, I can crouch. Yeah, the problem is this one. Oh, it's this. So those are not as... Why? Okay. What about these orbs? They also get kind of big or small depending on where you are. Which is an interesting perspective thing. Wait. I haven't connected that one yet. Where does that connect to? <laughs> I'm gonna lose my mind. Uh, let's see. Okay, fine. Let's go do this one for now. Let's just take a quick look at the magic lipstick. Is that not all of them? Oh, it is not. There we go. Wait. Is there a puzzle at the base of this thing? There is. There's a puzzle everywhere. Okay, so. Don't make... Wait. <laughs> oh! I... S There's multiple? There's multiple. Okay. Don't make any of those patterns. It's kind of same deal. Uh. Oh, can't do that one. Can do that one. Oh. Can't do that. There we go. All right, same kind of deal. Yeah, if we have any two black or white, they have to be immediately disconnected. Luckily, you can kind of just checkerboard much of this in a comfortable manner. Okay, connect all the dark cells, but you cannot have them be threes. Which is actually bonehead easy. Grid difficulty. Number of pips indicates the difficulty of the puzzle. Easy and medium hard, very hard and expert. All right, don't make the pattern. Connect all the dark. Oh, that is, that is actually really, really hard. Sort of? I guess not really. It's harder than the last couple, but as far as things go, pretty easy. Whoop. 
I've earned a Mirabilis. Every time a draw, there is no, th no three in a row every time a draw. Huh. Oh, I guess that's probably just the name of it. Wait, there's mobs. You know those orbs that were confusing me? Solved. Okay, I think that's every single thing in this kind of immediate vicinity. Except for all of the things that I've inevitably missed. I keep swearing I'm seeing, like, invisible things in the background. And it's going to drive me a bit nutty. Trying to find them all. Ooh. Okay, you're part of some- you- you are all part of something. There's one, but then there's another one that I'm... I think I gotta be up here for it. There are so many sky drops. Okay, there we go. Luckily, they kind of light up for you when you're getting to be in the right spot. There we go. And then we've got this. Ooh, it's a bit bigger. Have dark regions in... Wait, all dark regions have area 5. All light regions have area 5. What? Okay. So it has to be that. But you have to alternate them constantly. And if you go above at all, it's no good. Okay. Uh... Ah. Oh, okay. That's... Man. Okay, that's five. That's five. That's five. That's five. That has to be light. Yeah, what you have to do is effectively sequester each part individually. And you can't let them connect, because otherwise they're going to have problems. But I think we're good. <laughs> it's... Oh. Vert Glen Puzzle Box. Uh, there's like a gauntlet-looking thing. I guess you would... The best reward mechanism in this game, apart from... Obviously, RPG leveling is cosmetics. Makes sense to me. I'm also seeing a cloud of unassociated orbs. I'm pretty sure I gotta do it from down here, though. And look upwards. And I'm trying to get as many of those as possible. The problem is I'm just completionist of enough that I'm, I'm almost gonna lock myself to this region being like, Oh, but I, I, I can't miss the puzzles. I need to find all of them in this one area. And I'm going to, like, not climb on more than just one man's nose in this video. It's not a quota, exactly. But it is there as a, like, thing that I should probably do. Is climb on at least one more man's nose over the course of this video. Uh, otherwise, I don't think I'm doing my due diligence. Now, here's the... Nope, never mind. I was going to try and see if there was one hidden in the man's nose, but... Alas! Oh, I've kind of found my way down to the pyramid. Oh, well, this one's easy. Yeah, I have a quest to complete a bunch of matchboxes is the other thing, and I might as well do that.
Okay. Well, luckily for me, there's a whole bunch of batch boxes in one very small area. There is still that double triangle match box that I haven't completed yet. And then there's this one. Hmm. Oh, should I head over there? I mean, it does want me to do the Pearl of the Glen. Oh, there's the match boxes, I think. Return to the effigy of the Ancient One to receive your rewards. Grandma? Glimpse. What? Okay, white up this side. Oh, that's kind of fun. Little memory puzzle. I don't know how much my my parents would kind of dig this sort of thing, but my mom, my mom doesn't generally go. What is with this? I have no idea. My mom generally doesn't like video games. She thinks they're kind of a waste of time, but she's a big fan of... Oh, was there uh, some rings that I should go back and check? Um, she really likes, like, old-school 90s-era puzzles. Okay, do not make the altered any pet. Oh, boy. All regions have four. Oh, all light regions have four. Uh, can't do that one. Okay. Mm, no, can't do that. Because that'll make this pattern. The problem is, this becomes a na mm, a natural spot to want to connect to. This one can only go left, up, but it's not gonna like it if I connect this one. Yeah, it yells at me. Hmm. I mean, is difficulty four for a reason? Bring those back in. Bring this back in. So I think this light might have to be here. This light has to be here. Cannot do that. Cannot do that. Oh. Oh, you stinky game. Because the bottom part is easy. This, you just sequester away. I, no, I can't do that. What if I do something like, what if I do something like this, something like this, something like that? Shoot. I can't. Can't do it. Can't do it. But that I can do. Okay, I think we got it. Wow. This really is the stinky cheese man of puzzle games. Sorry. That's been, that story's been stuck in my head for forever. Oh, Amiya the friend. Do you hear the whisperings among the trees? At first I thought there were leaves rustling in the wind. But these whispers echo like mine. They too have minds of their own. So I whisper back. Where am I? I don't know. I'm on a journey. Uh, can I get an upgrade? Oh, map? Verdant Glen, not awaken. Interact with... Yeah, I should probably go over to it. 
We might as well also maybe go take a look at that other player at some point. Okay. Yeah, there's... You know what? I'm going to get charge jump just to give myself a little bit more. Gliding speed. Well, we don't even have that. Oh. All right. Ah, that's how you do a charge jump. Whoa. <laughs> oh, I thought that was going to just be, you know, a jump. You know, like a maybe jump twice as high as normal. Not a fling yourself into the ether kind of jump. <laughs> I, I did not know what I expected, but it was not that. Okay, I got a green matchbox here. I don't, I don't know where. It, aha! And we've got that, and then jump. Because there might not be anything on top of this pile of rocks, but I have to check. Chromatic sky drops. Okay. Now, it looks like there's nothing. I know you get wings at some point, which probably means I should... I... Okay. I... Focus time wander. It is time to go look at the shinies on the map. Stop getting distracted by endless puzzles and... I've already done this one? Oh, I've done this one. Okay. Oh, but I haven't done this one. Ugh. Oh, we got it. All right. Ooh. Yep, there we go. I'm weirdly good at those. I feel like at some point it's going to fail me and I'm not going to be able to figure out how to, like, manipulate those around. It is another player. Hello, other player. Goodbye, other player. It's nice to see that there is another player, but I'm not going to interact with them. I only talk to my wife. It does seem like there's something in the floating ziggurat, but I don't think we can do anything with it yet. <laughs> and this is where I find out the game actually has been broadcasting my microphone this whole time. It's got a uh, uh, voice detection and proximity voice. And I just said something extremely weird to a random developer. <laughs> that would be really funny. <laughs> I also think that this is not the kind of game that would really benefit much from proximity voice. Um, I could see it being kind of fun if you were like in a clan with people, maybe. Um, as like a, hey, you know, I can see that, you know, Shell's over there solving that puzzle. Let's uh, try and, like, get her attention so that she... Oh. Oh, do I... Mm, that's a problem. I can power jump, but if I power jump, am I going to sail into the sunset and break the boundary? It's not unlikely, but I'm also just hoping that it's not a... Uh, what I'm looking for isn't up high. We need two more. We have this. Oh, okay. I think we're we're safe. We're safe. Sometimes a bird's eye view is kind of good good for these things. I already found that one. I'm glad that it tells you. Not that it matters too much. Hmm. Last one's probably hidden in some vegetation, like these trees. Or a bush. So my original recording for this, I had posited the question. Posi I had asked, like, I wonder what the developers uh, plan to do for lobbies with this. And the answer is you queue up with friends and then join a random server. So you'll still see other people, but uh, it's no, like, private server setup or anything like that. Could be on top of that tree. So we already got that one. Oh, this is... Is this going to be a stumper? Am I going to be stuck? 
Oh no, <laughs> it's just really obvious. We. Oh, there's there's another one of those up there. Okay. Focus. <laughs> I need to go touch the thing. Hello, orb. Verdant Glen, New Land Awakened. Oh, new, no title equipped. What is my title? I am Novice at Memory Grid. Novice at Wandering Echo. There, I am proud of my achievements. Uh, let's see. So, what? I, what can I do? Oh, I don't. I don't have enough sparks. And what about you? Hello. Okay, so we got daily quests. So, solve the matchbox. Got it. Uh, let's see. Solve thirty puzzles. Easy enough. Stone Sentinel. Puzzle boxes, armillary rings. Fifteen flow orb courses or crystal labyrinths. Hid hidden pentads. Hidden objects. I feel like this luminous quest. I'll just pick it. I don't know if, how much it matters. And I can only do one at a time. Yeah? Yeah. I do kind of wish you could actually pick those. Let's see. Like, I, I wish you could pick those from your own... I want to say inventory, but, like, go to a pause pause menu to interact with it rather than a random character. I don't think it actually matters too much, but from, like, a ease of progression system. So you don't have to keep going back. Uh, I play some amount of Final Fantasy XIV, and one of the things that you can do in the game is, like, once a week do, like, a dungeon journal, but you have to go to a specific, um... You have to go to a specific character to get the dungeon journal to, like, turn it in. Uh, to pick it up and to turn it in. And I, it's not uncommon for me to completely forget to do so. It's not a high priority of mine, but it's also one of those where it's like, it's a little stinky and it'd be kind of nice if I didn't have to worry about that. I don't think it matters too much here. Hopefully, at the very least, um, whatever quest you pick up for the day doesn't go away at the end of the day. It carries over if you only leave it half complete. But maybe that's just me being slightly allergic to most live service experiences. This one's actually been pretty solid so far. I usually don't touch them just because live service is kind of boring. Uh, most games are just like, yes, we're going to send you, sell you endless uh, character skins and whatnot. And this one just seems to be like, hey, but what if you could multiplayer puzzle? And that's actually really neat. I think my only perpetual concern is always just like, you know, if the game ever shuts down, can I host my own server? Because I would actually really dig that. I called out to the whispers, and one heard me. I felt the presence of an ancient wisdom. There, amid the chorus of voices, she said my name. I was not aware that I had one. Now we can't get to this one yet. What are the requirements? Oh. I guess we can actually go there, if we wanted to. You know what? Screw it. Let's go. Whee! And this is where I find out that I cannot glide and I have doomed myself. Now it seems like I'm fine. The glass temple. The way is clear. Okay. So it's... It's a maze. Get to the exit. Well, first, without awareness, the known is just a void. Minds are the only thing that feel the meaning, meaning within memories. Okay, so that's... A dead end. A couple of these are dead ends, so I guess we gotta try the other side. Maybe for now. Oh, that was it. Alright, what else we have here? Puzzle zone. Oh, complete the pattern.
I was just like, what are the rules? I don't understand this one. The answer is, oh yeah, of course. Pattern grid mastery. Well, on the plus side, it's pretty consistent. Okay, what about you? <laughs> oh. Um. I guess it's just a two underneath every single one of these white cubes. And then a white cube underneath every single thing here. And then black cubes underneath. Okay. Actually makes sense. Oh, this is actually kind of big. Don't fall. <laughs> oh, that's not the end of the maze. That's just the other half of the maze. But yeah, we've also got these. At least you can see them pretty easily. I am a gog at what are you? What? Okay, so that's kind of mean. I have to figure out how to get underneath this thing to get to the last one because the last thing is, is up and through there. Okay, so at least we've completed the maze. <laughs> was that a hidden arc way? It was, okay. So it looks like I go even further down in here. There we go. And then we can do another pattern. Actually, no, this one's really this one's really easy. Is it? No, it's not. Huh. Oh. Blech. It's very easy. Is it? No. I know not what I do. Okay, so it's it's this. There we go. These are really intuitive puzzles. I'm going to give like major props for that. I like puzzle games, but I don't like being stumped. And that's kind of a fine line to ride. I was not expecting that. That's a bit of a fine line to have to, like, straddle. Um, uh, let's see. It's a fine line that you have to kind of straddle when designing a puzzle game of, you gotta make it complicated, otherwise it's boring but you gotta make it easy enough that players could actually have a chance and don't get frustrated. And I've played a lot of puzzle games where you're just stuck and stumped and it's not very fun. And I always have a bit of a bone to pick with those games just purely from the perspective of, well, I want to enjoy the puzzle game. I just don't want to suffer for it. Uh, and so far this has been entirely on the, hey, this is actually just like legitimately really fun. Let's see, what do we have? Get to the exit. It doesn't seem like any of them have timers associated with them yet, which is nice. Okay. Well. I think this is actually just bonehead easy. Yep. I should mention that that's not supposed to be a derogatory for anybody with this. Uh, 
from my perspective, it's kind of a reminder reminder of uh, well, I guess I would actually say it's it's a modification of keep it simple, stupid, but I always found that to be kind of an insulting way of phrasing it. Uh, I tend to overcomplicate my solutions in these games, and so by calling it bonehead easy, uh, it says the same thing but is not as mean, and from my perspective, I don't know, it's, I don't want to be mean to myself, that's, that's not nice. Oh, there's just another one up. Well, end of the maze, though. Question was, I thought I saw another puzzle around here. Maybe I already, maybe I already saw it. I'm just going to go pop down here and check. Or, I already got that one. Okay. Nope, there it is. Or did, did I get that one? I, I'm... It's lit up like that. I'm going to assume it was probably done, maybe. No. I have not solved that puzzle. Puzzle is getting to her. <laughs> okay, no, it's fine. There we go. Like I said, keep it simple. I actually cleared most of this out. We have these two puzzle chambers and then whatever's in that big temple. And then some other things here. So I think that's what I'll do. We'll finish this area up and then I'll call it uh, quits for the video. I'm having a good time with this though. Like, like I said, I'm looking for good puzzly games that I can play with my wife uh, just because she likes this kind of game a lot. Uh, Whereas, I don't know. Oh, right. I was kind of talking about my mom. She she really likes uh, The Incredible Machine and, like, Dr. Brain. I'm more of a just, like, equal opportunity. Everything is kind of cool uh, person, but I don't get too overwhelmingly into any of them. Uh, but I can respect the desire for a good puzzle game. We've got that. Ooh, two paths. It's always nice to find the dead end. Okay. No, I don't think that's it. <coughs> this is what's throwing me off. Because I don't have a context for what this should be here. I hate to use a foresight. Oh. Oh, it's radiating. So one square, uh, a one by one, two by two, three by three, four by four. There we go. And then you just had to connect everything else. Like I said, very intuitive. It's 
for me, the sign of a good puzzle game is one where you can almost solve it without realizing you've solved it, and then you have to kind of work your way back through because the puzzle is almost, like, more self-explanatory than your brain could work with at first. I don't know, this might just be a me thing, but I love... I love games that specifically reward my intuition more than anything else. I like being able to reason through things and learn from it. Um, but it almost feels more natural when you can intuit what the puzzle is rather than having to sit down and, like, really go through it. But then again, who knows? Oh, yes! You know, I said I want to do at least a, uh, one more nose stand before we're done. There we go. I've done it. I feel good. I'm not going to break out in a song. Do not worry. I'm not capable of that kind of no. Uh, now, you know what? That's silly. I'm not going to use a boost pad just to get back up a floor. That's that's why would I do that? So where are we going? Oh, I see a gateway around that side. How the devil? Here? No, here. You know how there was talk of a nose stand? I had to do it to solve a puzzle. Oh, right. That's, that's a no-go. Nose go? Sorry. It's baked in. Okay, I think that's it for this region. All we have left is this one. Hello. My name was not her greatest gift to me. She gave me a vessel to walk upon the world, where I was eager to escape the void. At last, I could feel the cool touch of the of ground and warmth of sunlight. Such a gift must be shared. Oh. Do these... Oh, no. It's not a one-way kind of dealio. But. But. Oh, no, it's actually very simple. Probably that. Yep, consistent rules. Sneaky little hidden gateway. What else do we have around here? Just in case. Oh, that's the end of the maze. That's the exit here. So this might be the biggest of the mazes. M maybe? Maze? Mazeby? Oh boy. I don't know. I might not be able to escape this maze before we're done. But I do have to say, I've been thoroughly impressed. The game has a very nice kind of aesthetic ambiance and mood. The music is eerie. Like, I actually keep expecting things to go bad for me. Which, I mean, is fine. Uh, I know it's not, I think. It would amuse me to no end if there were, in fact, negative consequences. <laughs> what? That was a valid solution? Oh, I mean, I guess that would have been fine. Maybe... Did I go backwards through this? I don't even know. Because I got to one exit. Have I done... No, I haven't done this one yet. Uh, oh... Oh, that's the first time I've seen. <sighs> this is the first time I think I've ever seen that. Mm, this? It's kind of like a weirdo reverso. Maybe? I don't. I don't know, man.
Yeah, that ain't right. I think I'm I think I'm finally stumped. Well, let's work with what I've got. Because I've got a lot of these single blocks. The problem is, they don't link particularly well up this middle, and then we've got this here. We know this one zigzags, now I could mirror it. And have it go the opposite way, but I'm not sure if that's the case. And then, what do you do with the center? I don't know, you know what? Okay, progress is cl correct. Oh. What? Oh, and Foresight comes back over time. Oh, that's really nice. So I was correct on this one. No. Gotta do another. There we go. Oh! Oh! That's a way more sensible pattern than what I was thinking of. <laughs> uh, once again, bonehead easy. All right, so I think with that, I've cooked my brain thoroughly enough. I'm gonna boop this man's nose. I, I don't know, that probably counts as a good boop. And I think I'm going to be stopping there. But I got to say, I'm enjoying it so far. The fact that there are 10,000 puzzles and I have solved... I am entirely unsure how many puzzles I have solved so far. It seems like the game isn't that huge, but it's overwhelmingly large, at least from the perspective of somebody that has only played some of this. And obviously there's verticality. We've barely touched the pyramid. There's... Uh, oh jeez. Okay, you know what? Let's let's just go back. Can I go back? Can I leave? Can I escape? Can I get out of here? I think I can. Yeah, let's just pop out of here for a hot second and just look at the um front door. See if we can get a better idea of what's going on. Yeah, so there's some pretty big regions over here. A lot of small floating islands, but I mean that that mainland that we were on earlier was absolutely jam-packed with puzzles. And, like, I think maybe that's where I started. I'm not entirely sure, but if you're a big puzzle fiend, this is going to be one of those games that's probably going to keep you hooked for quite a while. Just solving and hunting for secrets and maxing out your ability trees and whatnot. I'm still not quite sure about the, the full on, like, online multiplayer component of it. I don't know if it's going to be one of those if they're going to use it to specifically springboard into... Or springboard if they're going to constantly expand it or not. Because I could actually see that being kind of nice. You know, that's generally why you want live service. Is to take a base core format, a uh, core foundation, and build upon it. And so I'm curious to see where they take this one. Uh, but it's also very clear that they have a, a ton of, like, great things going for it already. Like, a perfectly cromulent uh, start. And I'm curious to see where it goes. But, I guess with all of this said, uh, let's see. Yeah. Playing in a shared world with other seekers, your journey is entirely your own. No collision, other players cannot block your way, that's nice. And you can request guidance via emotes and pings. Or just being in, uh, being on Discord with a friend or in the same room and being like, there, you know, there's the puzzle that's right there. Is that a thing? No. I do really like how aggressive that zoom is. But you're looking, you're trying to find a secret puzzle, a hidden cranny, a thing, a, what is that? Is that, <laughs> is that one of the arcways just sticking off the side? Can I, can I do a dunk? I can do a dunk. Okay, but I should say my, my last couple talking points before I go. Uh, so I guess one last, I guess, quick reminder now that the demo is available if you want to play it yourselves and will be available for the next week. Uh, and then of course, uh, the game is going to be coming out on February 13th. So if you miss out the demo, if you miss out on the demo, that's okay because the game is going to be available and you can just pick it up and play it anyway. So 
I guess with all that said, thank you to Lunark Studios and Behavior Interactive for sponsoring this video. It was very kind of you. It was a ton of fun. And if you like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. Uh, and of course, if you want to see more rad new games every single day, then hit subscribe because I got tons to check out and show off. But for now, I'm going to do a dunk, and I'll see you next time. Bye.